Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be looking at pagination and how it can help us to organize our long lists of posts into pages to allow users to be able to return a specific page size. Now I'm going to go to our API. I'm going to go to our Insomnia, which I'm using as our testing tool. Now go to a route that enables us to get all posts. So when you request all posts, we get this long list of posts and let's say if we created like a hundred records, then you would have more posts, which would make our query for all posts, a uh, large list of posts. With pagination, you can be able to fix this and return only a specific number of pages. And these pages can have a maximum page size that can have a specific number of posts. So in this video, we're going to look at pagination and how we can use it to improve the user experience in our application. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to our settings.py. So when I go within our VS code, I'm going to go to our settings.py. And the first thing I have to do is to set up our default pagination class. So Django REST framework comes with pagination classes that allow us to basically carry out our pagination. So I'll come within our REST framework settings. So I created the dictionary here that's called REST framework. And within this REST framework settings, I define some of the settings we may need for our Django REST framework. Now the setting I'm going to add here is going to be the one for our default. So this is going to be the one for our default pagination class. Now, after adding this default pagination class, I'm going to add our pagination class from Django REST Framework. So I'll do this with REST Framework. So this is going to be REST Framework dot pagination dot. In this case, we're going to use the page number pagination class. It's going to be page number. pagination. So right after doing this, I'm going to, going to describe the page size of each of the pages we shall have for our pages of our pagination. Now I'll come right here and I'll provide this as page size. It's actually going to be page size. And when provide the page size, this time it's going to be our, let's say we're going to keep the maximum page size to three. And when I save and try to, so our server is Reloading. When I go to our insomnia right here and try to send, now we're going to notice that we are actually having our result of posts being returned. And what we have is a list of three posts only. So this is the beauty with pagination. We can be able to have the count. So when we see our result right here, we have the count, which results to our posts or all the posts that we have in our database, which is 12 posts. Now it also provides for us a link that shows us the next page that we may go to. And when you check this next link, we actually have our link as localhost 8000 slash posts and then slash page. And here we actually have a page query parameter, and this stands for the page that we are on. So we are currently at page one, but when you go to page two, we can be able to see the post at page two. So when I come within our post right here and I say that you want to go to our page, page two. So here I'll actually provide this as a query parameter and then we shall have our page number being page two. So when I send this, we now see that we are actually seeing the post at page two. The same thing can happen for page three. So when I come right here and provide our number three, when we send, we actually see that we get to page three and you can see that the next link is page four and you actually see that the previous is page two so this is helpful as it increases the way it improves the way our users can be able to uh, navigate through the post that we created on our blog without having to scroll through a very long list or post. Now, this is not the only type of way we can be able to set this up in Django REST framework. So there are also ways in which you can be able to customize our pagination. So the way we do that is by creating our paginator class. So right here, we've been able to set this pagination for our entire app for all our list views. But if you want to maybe set this up for only a specific 
view, then what we'll need to do is to write our own paginator class. So to do that, I'm going to go within our views.py. So I'll go within our post app. And within our post app, I'm going to go where we have our views. Now within our views here, we have other we have all the all the views that can allow us to return a list of views. So what I can do here is to basically define our paginator class. So I'm going to begin by importing our page number pagination. So I'll just come and say from rest framework dot pagination. In this case, I'm going to import our page. So this will be our page number pagination. And right after creating this pagination or importing this pagination, I'm going to go ahead and create a class that's going to subclass the pagination class that we've imported. So I'll just come and say that we're going to have a class and this is going to be our custom. So this is going to be for our custom pagination. So shall I just call this the custom paginator. And once we have this, then the next thing is actually going to be to subclass our page number pagination. And right after subclassing our page set number pagination, then we're going to actually provide our, so we're going to provide our page size. So I'm just going to come here and provide us page size. And our page size is going to be equal to three. Now the next thing we can actually do is to set our page query param and this is going to be let's say page and then we can also set up our page size query parameter so we can do this by setting the page size query parameter and let's say this is actually going to be our page size so once we have this then we can be able to specify in our generic api views that we have our pagination class as our custom paginator so let us try that for our first view so i'm going to go to that view that allows us to list our posts and i'm going to come right here and all i have to do is to specify our pagination class and our pagination class in this case is going to be our custom paginator so once I've done this, I'm going to save and let us try to actually work with this. So when I go to Insomnia right here and I try to send, we actually see that our pagination is working. We can also be able to provide our page size. So when I come here, I can say and, oh sorry for this. So this can be and page size. So let's say is equal to four. So when I send, in this case, we see that it is turning a list of four posts. This is because we have been able to specify the page size query parameter, and this is making us have a, a number of posts that we actually defined for ourselves. So if I say, let's say we need uh, five posts, this can actually return for us five posts within our query. And actually here, we actually have this page, but it's not returning for us a page size of five. So let's say, wanted to return a page size of four, then that's when you can actually return a list of four posts for this page. So this is for our page number pagination. Now there are very many ways in which you can implement pagination, such as the limit offset pagination and the cursor pagination, but I'm not going to be covering this for this video. I'm going to keep this video to our page number pagination. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.